has anyone had the temerity, and I use that line knowing I'm, that word knowing that you would definitely as an Ivy League or understand it. Um, does anyone have the temerity, Coach, to tell you and complain to you that you busted their brackets? Has anyone actually <laughs> yeah, done that? They have. All the time. Even my own, even my own children. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, uh, really? We, um, you know, I think that, you know, you go into the tournament, uh, at least for us, nine days ago, we were fighting for our life to make the tournament. Yep. And you arrive in Sacramento, you know, we kind of, <clears throat> in one way, we would, uh, we were hopeful to go on a plane ride. On, in the Ivy League, you, you travel all the games by bus. And, um, you know, so we were, we wanted to get on the road. And then, you know, the difference between us now and, and us a week ago is now we, we have a team that has almost completely changed. And they believe they can beat anybody. And um, you can say that. I mean, I, I probably would have too. But if you watch, I think that Seed's, um, you know, the seeds are what they are, but if you watch the way the games are played, if you watched our games, you know, it's, you can see there's a very physical brand of basketball that we play. We out rebounded both of those teams and, um, and we score more points in the paint that, that's successful in a tournament. So I'm really proud of our guys and we're hopeful to keep it thing, keep this thing going. So you didn't really bust from South Jersey to Sacramento, California, right? You didn't do that. <laughs> No, no, we flew. It was so a great flight. No. Okay, great. good. I just want to make sure that we're all cool on that front. How does this team remind you of yours that you played on, where you shocked the world on UCLA and just one mere victory uh, in the tournament uh, back in your day, Coach? The similarities are um, that we both kind of got to the tournament. You know, we had to earn a spot, and it was tough to get there. Um, and so you were fighting for your life for, throughout all of January and February to, to make it. Um, the, the difference is, though, that's about it. I mean, this is a really physical team. Not that we weren't. I certainly wouldn't want to say to myself and my teammates weren't physical and tough. But, now we're, we're not – we didn't get any backdoor cuts on the weekend. We beat <laughs> UCLA on a backdoor cut. Yes. Um, we out-rebounded. I, as I mentioned, we've got a really physical team. And that's been uh, by design, Rich. I mean, I really sort of aimed when I got here. Like, I wanted to – you know, there's a lot of – honoring of coach Carrillo and the way we play, but spacing, physical play, um, playing smart and together, but, but tough nose defense is what got us where we are. And so I, I would say that, um, you know, we're built differently with the personnel. And um, I think that's, uh, that's a good thing. Do you ever hear coach Carrillo's voice in your head? Uh, I, I, constantly, constantly. I'm, I'm actually walking around Jadwin right now, the gym and, Coach would say he didn't use a whistle. He would say "Yo," that was how he addressed. Well, he's you know, from Pennsylvania. He said, no, "He's from Philly, right?" Yeah, he's he's from he's from uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, the the Lehigh Valley, sure. yeah, the Allentown area. Oh, okay, and, um, I hear his I hear his voice all the time. And whenever everybody gets around, it's each other, the former players, sort of who can do the best Coach Carroll impression. Mm. Uh, and he was um, equal parts cutting and. Um, it's a great sense of humor. He could be really tough on you. We were out in Sacramento where Coach spent his, um, the, the years after he left us. He mm -hmm. was with Jeff Petrie in Sacramento when they had those really That's good right. Sacramento teams in the 2000s. And they were like, he was great. You should have seen him. He was, you know, he, Coach Carrillo, he'd come over to my house and swim in the pool. And I'd, I'd say, like, who, now who are you talking about here? Who is it? What, what guy is this? You know, he was a really tough guy to play for. But um, I hear, you know, I got back. And one of the cool things, Rich, was – he got, I got to spend the last 10 or 12 years with him, and he was always just, I had to ask him what he saw, and he would tell me, but he was always very respectful, and he would always say, hey, be yourself. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.